Hello everyone, let's continue on our lesson with fractions and this time we will be talking about changing the similar to similar fractions, alright? Okay, um, as a quick review, okay, similar fractions are fractions with the same denominators. Um, pinag-usapan po natin to sa dati nating videos, okay? And uh, examples for those are 2 thirds and 1 third and then another one is 5 8 and 3 eighths again as long as the denominator is the same the fractions are similar now let's talk about the similar fractions so these are fractions with different denominators so titignan mo lang yung baba di ba so example is 5 tenths and 1 fourth and another one is 2 fifths and one third. So how are we going to do it? How do we change the similar fractions to similar fractions? All right? Okay, let's have this example one. We have here five tenths and one fourth. So in this la pareho. Um, a one tenth is actually smaller in size compared to a one fourth. Okay, but um Marami lang yung tenths dito. There are five tenths. Okay. And um, how are we going to change these two, the similar fractions into similar fractions? So, we have, okay, we have to find the LCD or the least common denominator, okay, of the two numbers, okay, or of the two fractions. And the LCD is actually the least common multiple of the denominators. So, ano ba yung least common multiple? Ang ginagawa natin with least common uh, multiple is skip counting lang talaga. So, we'll start with multiples of 10. So, skip the counting. Start with 10. So, multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and so on. Tinigil ko lang dyan, ha? And then, multiples of 4 are, so again, skip count ulit. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. Okay? And, since ang sabi is, hanapin mo yung common denominator, at yung pinakamaliit, ha? Kasi nga, least common denominator. Titignan mo ngayon, asan ang common sa dalawa? So, ano ba yung common sa dalawa? You have there, 20. So, ang LCD natin or yung denominator ng dalawa should be changed into 20. So, 20 na dapat. Yung 5 tenths, ang denominator niya ay 20 na dapat. And then, yung 1 fourth, ang denominator niya ay 20 na rin dapat. Okay? And then, para makuha mo yung 20 from 10, edi times 2 mo. ba? And then, tandaan ha, if ever you do something... Uh, to the bottom number you should also do, uh, do it with the top number so ano yung ginawa sa baba dapat gagawin sa taas ganun yun ha so dapat times 2 rin tayo kasi 2 over 2 uh, actually or 2 uh, 2 over 2 or 2 2 halves is actually just 1 so hindi mo binago ang value ng 5 tenths ginawa mo lang siya into higher term Right? So, you're actually looking for an equivalent fraction of 5 tenths. So, kaya mo siya tinimes ng 2 sa taas at baba. Dapat pareho yung dalawa. So, times 2 ang sa baba, times 2 rin ang sa taas. So, yung 4 is para magiging 20. You need to multiply it with 5. So, times 5 ang 4, times 5 din sa taas. Tandaan kung anong ginawa sa baba, gagawin sa taas. So, times 5. So, now you have... 20, 10, uh, 10 times 2 is 20, and 4 times 5 is 20. So, yung taas, dapat 5 times 2, that should be 10, and then 1 times 5, that should be 5. So, we now have two similar fractions, but of higher terms na lang to, right? Okay, example 2, you have here 3 fourths and 2 thirds. So, again, Find the LCD or the least common denominator ng dalawang fraction, and ang LCD is just the LCM. So yung LCD o yung denominator ng dalawa, hanapin mo lang yung common na multiple sa dalawang denominator. So ang ating denominators dito ay 4 and 3. So multiples of 4, skip count ka ulit, 4, 8, 12, 
O, ganun lang yun, ha? And then, multiples of 3 is, okay, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And then, isang tingin pa lang, alam mo na, ang dapat mong gamiteng denominator. Ayan na sila. Okay, so, ayan na pala, yung number 12 lang. Okay, so, we need to change 4 into 12. So, in 3 fourths, and then, yung 3, baguhin natin into 4 din sa 2 thirds. So, that would be 12 and 12. So, para makuha yung 12 in 3 fourths, you need to multiply it with 3, and then 3 din sa taas. And then, 3 times 4, para magiging 12, and then, times 4 din sa taas. So, 3 times 3 ngayon is actually um, equal now to 9. Okay, and then yung isa naman, 2 times 4, you have 8. So, the similar fractions this time is 9, 12, and 8, 12. Okay. Example 3, we have here, okay, again, LCD. So, that would be, okay, so 4 and 8, okay. Kaya lang, there are times na titignan mo kung ang mas malaking digit ng denominator ay pwede na ba sa pangalawa o sa isa, pa? And dito, makikita mo na ang 8 ay pwede na. So, yung 3 eighths natin dito ay hindi na natin babaguhin kasi tama na yung denominator niya eh. Ang 8 kasi is dalawang 4 lang. So, yung 1 fourth lang ngayon ang babaguhin natin. So, para magiging 8 ang 4, you need to multiply it with Okay, o 8 pala, ayan. So, times 2 natin, and then yung taas times 2 din. So, ang sagot natin would be 2 eighths at saka 3 eighths. Okay, tapos na, di ba? Alright. Okay, let's have example number 4. Okay, you have here 2 fifths and 2 thirds. So, LCD ng dalawa should be, okay, Kung mag-skip count lang kayo, mabilis lang. Start kayo sa malaki. So, yung malaki sa dalawang denominator is 5. So, doon ka mag-start sa 5. 5, hindi pwede sa 3. 10, hindi pwede sa 3. 15, ay pwede na sa 3. 5, 10, 15. So, dapat ang LCD mo is 15. Tignan natin kung tama ba. Ayan. Alright. O, oh, ayan nga. 15. Kasi wala namang 12 dun sa multiples ng 5. Eh. Walang 9. Diba? So, Ang denominator dapat ng dalawa is 15. So, baguhin natin, 15. So, ang 5 para magiging 15 times 3 lang. Okay? And then, yung 3 para magiging 15 times 5. Yan. So, ang numerator natin ngayon is 6 ang una. Okay? And ang pangalawa is 10. That is just from 2, two times 3 at saka 2 times 5. Five, right? Now let's have example five. Okay, so skip count a let. Eh, pareho lang pala to sa kabila. Now five, ten, fifteen. So pareho lang. So you have there. Okay, yan. So six at saka ten. Let's have example six. Okay. Now example six, meron dito ngayon ang tatlo. So, there are times kasi na tatlo or apat or lima ang kukuhanin mo uh, or babaguhin mo ito similar fractions. Now, this time, ang denominators ay 4, 6, at saka 8. Now, let's start with the biggest. Kasi sabi ko yung may biggest din, uh, uh, digit in the denominator dun ka mag-start. So, skip counting tayo with 8. Supposed to be, it should be 8, 16, 24, and then uh, 32. Tama, di ba? So, check natin. Ang 8 ay hindi pwede sa 6, pero pwede siya sa 4. Pero hindi pwede sa 6 kasi, so hindi pwede ang 8. And then, 16. So, pag dalawang 8 ay 16. Ulit, pwede siya sa 4, hindi pa rin siya pwede sa 6, di ba? And then, you have 24. Now, check natin. Is 24 divisible by 4? Yes. Is 24 divisible by 4? Yes. 24 divisible by 8? Yes, lalo na. Nag sa 8 tayo, nag-skip count eh. Diba? So, dapat ang denominator natin dito is 24. Right? So, 24 na dapat yan. Tatlo na yan. Okay. So, ang 4 para magiging 24, dapat i-multiply mo with 6. And then, multiply mo rin ng 6. 
ang taas. Ang 6 para magiging 24, multiply mo it, uh, multiply mo ito with 4. And then yung 5 times 4. Then, tandaan ha, kung ginawa sa baba, gagawin din uh, dapat sa taas. So, yung 8 ay times 3 lang natin. Okay, and then 3 is times 3. And then, you got here 6. Okay, kasi 1 times 6 eh. So, yung sunod naman ay 5 times 4. It should be 20. And then, yung 3 times 3 should be 9. Ba? Okay, very good. Alright, so how do we change the similar fractions to similar fractions? Kumuha lang tayo ng LCD. Tandaan ha, LCD. Yung pinakamaliit na denominator. And ang denominator na yon ay yung LCM lang ng dalawang denominator or three denominators. So, skip counting ka lang. Okay? And use the LCD or LCM as the new denominator. And then, baguhin mo na. Yun lang. Okay? Change the fractions to similar fractions. Alright? Let's have um, a quick exercise. Konti lang to. Okay? So, we have here three halves and one third. So, skip counting. Ano dapat ang denominator ng dalawa? Okay? Dapat ang denominator ay 6. So, 3, 6. Pwede na ang 3 ay ang 6 ng 2. So, 6 lang. Gagawin lang natin 6. Gagawin 6 ang denominator. So, you have there. Final answer is 3 times 3. That's 9, 6. And then, yung isa is 1 times 2. That's 2, 6. Okay? Very good. Okay, let's have another example. We have here 9 tenths at saka 1 half. Okay, so sabi ko diba, magsimula sa pinakamalaking denominator. And kung titignan mo, 10 is already divisible by 2. Kasi lahat ng divisible by 2 ay nagtapos in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Diba? And uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. And then, 10 ay pwede nang i-divide by 2. So, pwede na ang 10. Okay? Now, let's say, binago mo ang denominator. Ginawa mong 20. So, imbis na 10 lang sana, ginawa mong 20. Okay. Tama ba? Makukuha mo ba ang similar fractions? Yes, makakuha ka ng similar fractions. Yan. So, times 2 na 10, times 2 para maging 20. Ito naman times 10, times 10. So, yung sagot mo would be 18 over 20 at saka times 10 over 20. Again, nakuha mo ang similar fractions pero hindi nga lang siya ang pinakamaliit na denominator. So, it should have been 10. Ba? Now, if ever you're going to do this in uh, uh, operations of fractions, okay, sa final answer, tandaan mo na lang or titignan mo na lang na lowest term ba siya? Dapat i-lowest term mo na lang. Kasi, there are times na nilakihan mo yung LCD or, or yung common denominator pala. So, malamang ang magiging final answer mo in operations of uh, fractions would be bigger in terms. So, dapat i-reduce mo lang to lowest term. Okay? But, you were all, you, we, are, we were still able to get similar fractions with this one. Kasi pareho lang naman silang 20 ang denominators. Okay? Alright, another example. We have here 7 and 3. So, t times lang ng 3. And then, we have 3 times 7. Minsan, baligtaran lang yan. 7 times 3, 3 times 7. Minsan, yung mga denominators lang sa baba, i-multiply mo na lang. Kaya lang, there are cases na hindi nangyayari yon. Hindi mo i-multiply yung dalawang denominator para makuha mo yung um, para makuha mo yung um, LCD. Okay? There are times na hindi ganun ang gagawin. Okay? So, final answer natin would be 12 over 21 at saka 14 over 20. Alright? Then, another one. Okay. Now, here, 15 at saka 6 ang denominator. So, hindi to pareho sa kanina na i-multiply mo lang dalawa, ay makuha mo na yung LCD. Hindi pwede kasi kung i-multiply mo yung 15 times 6 ay ang dami. Diba? You would get, uh, you would get 90. E meron namang mas li maliit dyan. So, ano ba ang pwede dyan? Uh, start tayo with 15. So, 15. Uh, sunod ay 30. Pwede na ba siya sa 6? Yes, pwede na. <laughs> so, 30. 
20 lang. So, times 2 natin yung 15, times 2 yung 11. Okay? And then, yung 6 para magiging 30 times 5. And then, times 5 din sa taas. So, final answer natin would be 22 over 30. At saka yung isa is 25 over 30. Yan. Okay? Alright? Okay. Now, this time, meron tayong tatlong examples. So, ito na yung sinabi ko rin na hindi pwedeng i-multiply yung tatlo or dalawa. Okay? Dapat tignan nyo ang LCD or yung multiples ng tatlong numbers. Now, let's start with 12. Kasi ang 12 ang pinakamalaki. Now, check natin. Divisible ba siya by 6? Yes. Divisible ba siya by 4? Yes. Okay. So, 12 lang ang gagawin mong denominator dito. Huwag mo na lakihan. Okay? So, huwag mo na lakihan. So, 12 lang. So, ang 6 dito para magiging 12 times 2 mo. So, yung taas niya dapat times 2 mo rin. So, 6 is times 2. Then, 5 ay times 2. Ang 10, 12, pwede nang hindi galawin. Okay? Pero in some other cases, some other teachers, ginawa nila itong times 1. Pero just in case, pwede rin hindi na. Okay? Just in case lang yung gagawin ng teacher, dapat alam nyo na walang nagbabago sa value if you're going to multiply this with 1. So, since pareho lang naman ang value, walang magbabago, hindi ko nalalagyan. Okay? Now, let's go to 3 fourths. Ang 4 para magiging 12 ay times 3. So, times 3 din natin yung taas. So, final answer natin would be 10 over 12. Okay? So, yung gitna ay 10, 12 din. Okay? And then, the last one is 9 over 12. Okay? So, ganun lang kadali. Okay? Alright? So, hindi ko na hinabaan, hindi ko na dinamihan ng aking... Um, uh, examples, okay? You may check other websites. Uh, maglagay ako ng websites dito para you can uh, practice on more on fractions. But usually, walang uh, walang um, uh, exercises on changing the similar fractions. Uh, konti lang. Kasi the similar fractions to similar is actually a part of the addition process in adding the similar fractions, okay? So, check other websites for more uh, fractions exercises and functions and thank you for watching bye bye